All right, my boys, something unique just happened. Yu-Gi-Oh card, the Chronicles, have just been released in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh, my boys, and this is pretty exciting. What it looks like it is so far is some sort of, like, anime introduction of Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know if this is all one cohesive story or multiple chapters, but... It looks really interesting like it starts off it's like a six to seven minute video not really sure how long it is but it starts off with uh, dark magician and dark magician girl and it looks like they're flying through some sort of portal into a different dimension but what it looks like is they're flying into the Yu-Gi-Oh card dimension as they're flying into the back of the Yu-Gi-Oh card art and then as you see the 25th anniversary logo pops up now what's interesting about that is now it looks like we have transitioned into dual monster world like like you immediately see uh the maiden with eyes of blue and that's absolutely crazy it's like it's so funny seeing Yu-Gi-Oh characters animated in a anime world uh since like you know it's like it's funny like when you just like see it like this for the first time like i really it's been something i've been looking forward to but it's pretty dope that it's like in all these different things so you got the charmers um the ice barriers the animation is really good um you can see like all the ice barrier seals holding trishula but then they break and then trishula is released and awakened cracks and goes into the milfy world which is absolutely insane <laughs> it's super cute um, it's got the little fruit on the little stump and all the little animals getting ready to feast, I guess. Pretty uh, it's an interesting little uh, animation. And then we go to this crazy animation right after that. Like, how do you follow up Milfy World with Zeus? Oh, wait, I just noticed something. In the in the universe that Zeus destroys YGO 25 MD in space. And it's and Zeus looks like he's clearing space of i don't think this is debris i think this is enemy ships or something so he's destroying some enemy ships maybe it's the um what's the name of that archetype that uh maybe he's destroying some cosmo dark destroyers he's blowing them all up or something i don't know <laughs> but he's clearing the board and he looks up and then he sees i think that's that one card that that new card in the tcg that's like a one card exceeds uh monster but I guess that's Zeus's rivalry. So it's funny watching Zeus. Like not only it's funny, like like this animation shows Zeus wiping the board, but it also shows Zeus on the attack against like a powerful enemy. And Zeus's attack is absolutely incredible. I <laughs> absolutely love it. And then we it transitioned. Now honestly, I personally think they should have just stopped it right there. That was really good. But it transitions now into the Six Samurai. And now we're going to look at the six samurais and it's, it's absolutely incredible. Um, it just showcases all the uh, main deck six samurai monsters. Um, and, and I think even the uh, upgraded six samurai monsters, I think they was called like the, the return of the six or something like that. Like, I don't remember what the name of the archetype was, but basically the retrained uh, <laughs> six samurai monsters. And then you see Shogun. And, uh, man, this is crazy. This is crazy. And then trans transition into the live twins. Now, this is pretty interesting. The live twin animation is pretty dope. Um, as they're supposed to be like VTubers, but then they're also like in real life, like super spies hitting up the, uh, magic girl transformation. Like, this is so dope, man. Like I, I really, really like, I, I'm really glad they did this and it looks like they're doing all this stuff and it's like. It, I know it's their background, but it looks like it's a bit of small world background, but I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'm just putting two two and two together incorrectly. Fallen of Albaz. We've got this we've got this spicy uh art going. And and it's like they, they really put some some nice animation on this uh Fallen of Albaz uh like arc. Like this animation looks great. Like like I mean I do wanna hear and see more of this. I really hope that they follow this up with like a series or like a Chronicles or like a, some some sort of like, like, you know, um, I forget what it's called, but when it's like five movies in one movie, like something like that, like I really hope they follow this up. And then they show you after all that, that there's 
two other like new cards. This looks like some sort of Dark Magician retrain, a Blue Eyes retrain, and Exodia Guardian, God of the Palace. Uh, and that's supposed to be an arc. And then you got the Visa Glimmers Through the Stars and Frost. Fire Kings versus Atlanteans, Oceans of Flames. Dia Bell Star. Dragon Rulers. This is getting crazy. Majestus. <laughs> that's got Alistair. The Majestus story is the invoked story because I believe the uh one of the majestic characters is young alistair the invoker so this is actually pretty crazy and then we got the soulful core assembles now the soulful core thing is actually out cold because at the end of this whole presentation the soulful core actually has um a little brief uh like little movie they got a little brief interlude it's pretty pretty cool and it basically signs you off to the Yu-Gi-Oh theme in like such a perfect manner and and they're and they're also clapping this this is actually really dope like i kind of hope that they really follow up with the series on this oh my god like don't tease me like this and put this animation out here and act like you're gonna make some sort of Yu Gi Oh trading card game tcg ocg content anime said thanks for playing for 25 years this is a new Yu Gi Oh anime dropping soon damn well, that was it, my boys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll be talking more about this later on. Oh, did you think I was done? We got one more thing that we got to talk about. They actually had Sky Striker uh, content. I know you watched that whole thing. It was like, where's my Sky Strikers at? They literally had the Sky Striker um, scene at the end of the entire presentation as almost like a uh, after credits type of thing, which is pretty dope. I think that you guys probably are really excited for that. I'm not fully excited for Sky Striker Ace Ray content because I never played that deck or cared for that deck. But, hey, I'm just one of those people that don't like Ray. But, hey, my boys, i catch y'all in the next one. And as always, keep it dang.